I stopped myself from doing it, from committing suicide. But it didn't only leave me alive, it also left two police officers dead. I, I killed them, shot them both. This was not supposed to happen. Doctors testifying that was having a psychosis. my work and uh, it has helped me a lot I wrote a happy ending just for myself I feel better now I am more at peace with myself even though I'm still stuck in this wheelchair but uh, I accept that I can never forgive myself for shooting those two officers I have so many supportive people around me now, so I, I think I will be okay. Dr. Purnell is mentoring me and is watching my progress. I'm lucky to have him. Sophie visits me every once in a while. On the doctor's letter, that is. They still think her visits are too destabilizing for me and that it hinders my progress. I keep on telling her how sorry I am for making her life miserable every time she's here. She just, she just laughs at it and tells me to stop being so silly. But I can see the damage I've done to her in her eyes every time she looks at me. She found a new friend, one who is there for her and treats her right. I'm happy for her. Though, at least the good moments we've had, knowing that they'll never come back. I think this is a good time to close this book. It has changed my life forever. The end. I can't breathe. I'm so weak. I know this isn't easy. Don't tell me that your love is gone That your love is gone